Hi guys. Finally got a little time and a little break here to do a little quick Adobe brick testing. I'm at this point just starting the little water tests that we typically do in the state of New Mexico. You'll see I have uh, two bricks here. This more gray looking one is the one that's got the 10% Portland cement in it and the one that we made in an earlier episode and then this more brown looking one down here is one that's got the emulsifier in it that's commercially made at a brickyard here in Albuquerque and uh, they gifted us over a couple samples so we thought we'd test that too and just compare the two while we're at it just to see how they really compare you know um, when it comes to water as well as uh, rupture testing which we're not doing rupture testing yet but hopefully I'll be shooting that soon as soon as I can figure out a way to actually get the right equipment to do an accurate test of some sort. Finding a lab around here is just kind of difficult. Too many of the lab folks that I talk to would ask me questions like, well, what's what's the state requirements for doing this kind of test? So it's like they've apparently never done it before, and that's probably not the persons that you want doing this test for you. So I want to see what I can do to actually just do this myself. So typically, you soak these overnight or for a 24-hour period. It's about 3 p.m., almost 4, I think, now. So I'll start these, and then hopefully about the same time tomorrow, take a look at them, examine them, and uh, see what we get. But I'm going to go ahead and put ours in the big tote of water, and the little more narrow, smaller one will fit the other uh, commercially made brick. So here we go. Okay, the commercially made one goes in here. And then our concrete based one, or Portland cement technically, we put in here. And we'll go ahead and let them get started. Okay, just uh, I just started the test here. Just uh, show some up close pictures of how the bricks are doing. You can see our one with Portland cement doesn't seem to be doing much of anything, but this one down here that was commercially made with the emulsifier, you can see it's kind of percolating up, bubbling a lot. I'm not sure why. Ooh, I can feel it dissolving too. That's not good. Uh, and then we just started this test. What's it going to look like in 24 hours? Anyway, the one that we made with Portland cement still looking good. I don't feel anything dissolving off of that. Water looks nice and clear. That's also a good indication of nothing's really dissolving yet. But okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause this for about 24 hours and we'll see what we find tomorrow. Okay, we're about 24 hours later. Let's see how these turned out. Well, of course, we can see from here, still no breakdown of this brick at all. Looks really nice. No uh, muck or anything at the bottom. Just a little bit of sand rubbing off from uh, my hand putting a little friction on it. But that's uh, definitely fine. I think that could go another 24 hours without any problems. I'm not sure if the state's soaking test is 24 hours or 48. I think I've heard both. Anyway, let's look at this one. Let's pour some of the water out. I can't quite see to the bottom of it. Okay. As I reach down here, I don't find a brick. All I find... <laughs> is what's left of a brick. Ugh. I take it back. There's a few pieces. There we go. That's what's left of the emulsified brick. Made at a local New Mexico uh, brick factory here. 
So, uh, I guess if you really want water protection, you better go with uh, Portland cement. I used approximately 10% Portland cement. I think it was about a quarter of a bag in the three and a half cubic foot mix I was doing. But I think, uh, as I recall, I put a lot less soil than that from our bill site. I think I used more like two cubic feet, something less than what the max would be. So that's a kind of approximation about a quarter of a quarter of a foot to two cubic feet. So again, pretty close to 10%, maybe a little over, but makes for a good strong brick. Hi guys. One other little thing that happened as I was cleaning up. Um, of course, you saw how the um, emulsified uh, with a, a brick fell, just dissolved literally in a 24-hour period. But it looked like the uh, uh, adobe brick that I made with Portland cement with that 10% mixture it looked strong enough until I took it out. Then something strange happened. I'll show you right down here as I was holding the upper part of the brick here on each side of it this side and that side um it just snapped apart on me and i can see it looks kind of damp in the center of it here and i'll swing across and show the other side of it but this is uh causing me now to take a second thought about adobe um i'm gonna gotta do some more research on this you know obviously when you're done stacking them and they've dried and cured and all that it's pretty straightforward to put some kind of uh waterproof coating on the outside of the bricks before you put any finishing materials um, over the bricks on the exterior could do that that'll probably prevent this from ever happening on any brick on the whole house but nonetheless it is concerning so i gotta pause for a little bit here and do a little more research and see what's going on because um, my impression was that you'd never get penetration inside the brick um, with a 10% mix of uh, Portland cement in it. So deeply concerning. Wish I could say cheers, but no, it's kind of like uh, boo-hoo right now. <sighs> Till next episode. And here we are, kind of a up-close examination of these bricks. Let's see how it looks kind of dark and moist in there not dry like they used to be i can feel the moisture anyway very disappointing thank you for watching an episode of nature preserve life in mountain air new mexico if you'd like to follow along and support our channel please press the subscribe button and gong that bell to be notified after all it's free free is a very good price in the future we will plan to focus our episodes on our eco-friendly build of earth and construction and dark night astronomy that big guy there and tourism of the regional area as well as establishing a patreon account for the sole support of wildlife in deer canyon preserve so stay tuned cheers <laughs>